fact that Java is one of the top most programming languages in the world is due to the fact that it has some of the most robust and practical features. Java is a modern, cutting edge and ever evolving computing language that combines an elegant language design with powerful features that were not available in other languages, which include many powerful supporting software libraries for tasks such as database applications, networking and graphical user interface programming. And did you know that we can use MongoDB to store our data with the help of Java? We know that MongoDB is a NoSQL database and it is a developer data platform that is compatible with several languages, including Java, which is a great fit for applications which are written in MongoDB. MongoDB provides connectivity for Java client applications using the Java driver. On that note, hey everyone, welcome to Simply Code's YouTube channel. I hope you guys are doing good and staying safe. In today's session, we will be learning about MongoDB, Java, where we will understand how to integrate Java programming language into the MongoDB database. So without any further ado, let's get started with today's topic. But before we begin, if you are new to the channel and haven't subscribed already, consider getting subscribed to our channel Simply Code to stay updated with all the latest tech content and hit that bell icon to never miss an update from us. So without any further delay, let's get started. So firstly, what is Java? Java is a multi-platform objective oriented programming languages that runs on billions of devices worldwide currently. It powers applications, smartphone operating systems, enterprise software and many well-known programs. So it is basically used to design and develop application software and other critical software frameworks. Now the use cases of Java has been a prominent in many uh, sectors. It can be extremely trans used as a transferable programming language used across platforms and different types of devices from smartphones to smart TVs. It's used for creating mobile and web apps. It can also uh, be used in other sectors like gaming, big data and cloud based applications and other uh, specifications as well. So now in order to integrate uh, MongoDB with Java, you don't need uh, high programming skills and you know much knowledge on Java. You just need basic level understanding of Java and its syntax. So before we get into the execution part, you need the three basic uh, things you know that you want to uh, perform with MongoDB and Java connection is you need to have a MongoDB that is installed on your uh, device and then you need to have Java development kit which is a JDK and then IDE which is an Eclipse. Now MongoDB installation is important uh, wherein we'll connect the Mongo client which acts as the interface between our Java program and the MongoDB server. So it is basically used to create a connection which is used to connect all the relevant databases and retrieve collection names which are present in our MongoDB database into our JDK platform. It is basically used to perform uh, CRUD operations like create, read, update, delete operations on our collections and documents. Next, we are using a JDK. JDK is nothing but the uh, compiler or the source where you write the code, which is a software development environment that offers a collection of tools and repo repositories or libraries, which are necessary for developing any Java applications. So if you're integrating MongoDB with Java, you need certain dependencies or certain, let's say, uh, libraries that you need to connect in order to perform uh, MongoDB operations. So for that, we are using Maven. Maven is basically used for Java based projects, which helps in uh, downloading all the dependencies. If you are integrating uh, one language with another uh, to a database, I can, I, you can also uh, include libraries and jar files also. And finally, you need an integrated development environment that is an IDE. So we are using Eclipse for this. Eclipse is basically a free Java based development platform that allows developer to develop and test code written in other programming languages. So I hope you understood the basic concept on how we integrate MongoDB with Java. So let us now just get into the execution part and see how it is executed. So we have already installed MongoDB on our device. Uh, for now, we'll be just installing the ID, which is the Eclipse and the JDK. Now, in order to install JDK, you just have to go to Google, type Java Oracle. And on the home page, you'll find this, uh, just log on to that. And on the right side, on the topmost corner, you can see download Java, which uh, is basically the latest version as Java 19. So you just have to click download Java. 
and if you scroll down you have the various uh, download options we are downloading the 19th uh, which is the current version and we want it for windows and we are installing for the 64 bit so just click on this and it will automatically download now i have already uh, downloaded it on my system so just wait for the installation process to complete and give the necessary permissions and click on finish finally so we have successfully downloaded java on our device now let's see if it is downloaded or not go to the uh, c drive and go to program files and you can see we have a folder named java click on that so as you can see that we have the latest version which is jdk19 go to bin folder and this is where we have all the uh, repositories or the important files of the jdk program now what you have to do is you have to set the path for that just uh, click on this and copy paste everything and what you have to do is you have to paste it in the uh, system environment variables so it is mandatory to add the path to the system variable now by default most of the programs uh, will add their own custom shortcuts to the windows environment variables so the most used environment will variable in windows is probably the path variable so it, it basically allows you to run any executable uh, commands that are located inside the path specified in the variable at the command prompt without having to give the full path to the executable uh, command so instead of you know uh, compiling the ways to add the directory to the path each and every time when you are working on java or the jdk you can just simply add the path to the environmental variable so once you are done with that just come back and uh, let us now download the eclipse also so you just have to click eclipse java so on the first page you can see eclipse id for java developers you can also find information on the right side of it so let's just download the latest version of it so as you can see uh, the latest version is eclipse id 2012 tool 2022 tool click on download x and again uh, it will show the uh, version just click on download and it will finally get downloaded so give the necessary permissions again guys uh, i've already installed it on my system so this is just for reference so once it's downloaded you are good to go so once you download it it will be it will show you and just type eclipse in the search box as you can see and when you try to open it it will ask for a selected directory as a workspace now this is by default just keep this as it is and launch so i'm choosing this so once you click on launch you will find this uh, final navigation page wherein we'll have to create a java project now now as discussed earlier we'll be creating a maven project which is used to add uh, dependencies to a java driver in order to connect mongodb and uh, java together so i'll just new click on go to file click on new and we have the other option here click on maven project and click on next and tick the box which says create a simple project click on next again now you can need to give a group id and an artifact id now it can be of any name so let's just say i am taking it as java mongo and let's just copy paste it again here it should be same otherwise it will show an error so i'm just creating a new maven project with name java mongo click on finish okay it says that we have already created java mongo just create another one let's take one so i have already created uh you know maven project of that name java mongo so i'm just changing the name and creating it as mongo java now so just double click on that now you can see various uh you know types of specifications where that we get into this project it says the main wherein you have to write your code here and the resources test resources and then you have jre system library src target and next we have the pom excel so pom.xml file is where you add the dependencies now we are working with mongodb and we are trying to integrate uh, with the java application right so for that you need to install the necessary java drivers and maven which is a project based will give an access by providing various dependencies to our mongodb and uh, java driver so the syntax for that would be just it's a normal uh, syntax just follow this you can even pause once it's done 
तो द सिंटैक्स इज फॉलोड एज ओपन दिंटैक्स एज डिपेंडेंसी एंड इन सेट दैट यू हैव टू बेसिकली अगेन गिव द टैग एज डिपेंडेंसी Uh, the computer is already showing for you. Again, close that, and it will also have the end tag. Now you have to basically give give the group ID that you have created for the Maven project. So it is also giving the group ID for us. So I'll just take uh, the group. Now you have to mention as org dot mongo db. So you can see it is. auto uh, you know pasting for us itself just click on this and next we have to give the artifact id as well artifact id will basically be mongo java driver all right next we have to mention the version of it so let's say i am taking the version as for this as 3.8.1 which is one of the latest versions you can even find uh, the latest versions accordingly on the uh, uh, mongodb official page also you can copy paste that and you can use that as well so i'm just using 3.8.1 here so we have successfully copied our dependencies here so just save it uh, by pressing control and s it will automatically save for you So it is still building hundred percent. It means successfully we have added all the dependencies that are necessary for our MongoDB Java driver. All right. Now let us go to the main section part where we'll write the actual code. First we need to uh, basically connect the Mongo client, which is basically an interface between the MongoDB and Java. So for that I'm just creating a new class here, guys. So click on new, click on class, and just give a name of uh, of your own type. I'm just giving as Java Mongo. and click on uh, which method sub you would like to create okay we need to have the main uh, right main section right so for that i'm using uh, i'm clicking on that so that we'll have the public static void main uh, automatically added to that so just click on finish so as you can see we have created a class with name java mongo and we have created the uh, main header part as well so we'll just write the code here for that we need to create uh, basically where we want to Connect the MongoDB client, right? So I'm just writing the code. So I'm just creating. Uh, I'm just writing a command. First, we are basically creating a MongoDB client. All right. So the code for that would be MongoDB. Sorry, Mongo client. And Mongo client again is the keyword we are using. and we are basically connecting a new a new one right so i'm just writing the new mongo client as the keyword and inside that we have to mention the uh, client version so basically we have the 27017 which is the common or default port so inside the brackets mention local host and mention the version of it which is 2701 Seven. Close the brackets. Put put semicolon. And next, you have to basically print out this, right? So in Java, we use system. So if you're familiar, if you're someone who already worked on Java, you might have known this. We use the system dot out dot print ln as our uh, output command. Print. Sorry. Dot dot. print ln so what basically what i'm telling is that once it is successfully connected i want it to uh, you know show me created mongo uh, let's say connection successfully so this is what i want my uh, you know java specification to deliver this output once it is directly connected with the mongo db client so this is basically the output i mean the code for that and we also have to include some libraries uh, for example let's say import we have the mongodb client right so it is import dot com dot mongodb dot mongo client and next we have another one which is 
import com dot client dot mongo collection and finally we have import com dot mongo db dot client since we are also connecting the database to it we need to mention the database uh, library as well which is client dot mongo db database so these are some of the important uh, which you need to keep in mind before we get in the uh, we execute this we have to mention we have to import all the libraries from our uh, mongodb instance so this is what we have so now before we get into the execution part we also need to open our mongodb instance so for that i'm just going to c drive again click on program files go to mongodb folder uh, and then you have server click on 6.0 go to bin and just click double click on this path and clear this and type cmd which is command prompt again it will be direct and this basically type mongodb wherein we are starting the mongodb instance so it will take time to load it so just keep it aside now let's just get back to our uh, jdk eclipse where we have successfully uh, you know made a uh, connection with the mongodb client we have imported all the libraries now click Control shift o all right now next what you have to do is just right click on it click on run as it says java application click on that so as you can see we have successfully uh, you know created a mongo connection successfully now it shows that some reference jan 7 2023 mongodb diagnostic logging center info cluster created with settings which is the localhost 27017 mode single and all that so if you are getting this on your screen that means you have successfully created a mongodb connection all right so let us now create a database and perform some you know CRUD operations like creating a collection inserting some documents into that so now it will take a lot of time to you know write each and every single syntax for creating a database and then inserting and then performing operations on that so to save time i've already created a file i'll just uh, leave the link in the description below you can check the uh, all the syntax and the commands uh, that are in the present in the drive so for now what you have done is we've just basically created a mongo client here and next we have to create a database now in general if it will list out all the database that are present in that and if you want another database it will automatically create a database for you just have to mention the database name so what i'm doing is i'm just uh just reading out this syntax which is mongodb db and then we are using the get database keyword and just creating a database name let's say mongodb java and then i'm printing it out which says get, get database is successful next in order to get all the databases in there we have to use mongo cursor string db cursors and we are using an iterator here that will list out all the uh, databases that are present in our mongodb database so i'm just basically copying all this data and let us go to our eclipse paste it here so i think now let's just again run it let's see what is the output so it says error exists and require project mono proceed with launch proceed so it mean it basically shows error that that's because you know we haven't created uh you know any collection and document into our uh, mongodb database mongodb java database right so that is why it says uh, there is an error in this so we'll just fix it out so once you execute this you can see that it is says it says that open collect connection and it is connecting to our mongodb uh, database and you can see we have the list of all the databases like admin company db config local mongodb backup simply code one student db test now if you just want to cross verify it let's just uh, go to that so let me just open command prompt and click mongo write mongo sh which is mongo shell it will basically connect to that so in general what we do is we show uh, we use the show dbs command in order to retrieve all the databases so you can see admin company config and uh, all the other databases that are present so let's just compare it with our uh, whether it is not 
correct or not so you can see admin company db config we have local test database we have student db simply code one and mongodb backup now the thing is So now the next main problem is that we just created a MongoDB database, a Java database, but we haven't created any collection and we haven't inserted any documents in that. So that is the reason it is not showing MongoDB Java database as of now. So for that, we basically create a document and we'll basically create a uh, collection here. So let's just roll back to our uh, uh, syntax of how to insert a sample record by creating collection and a document. All right, now the code is followed as Mongo collection and within the uh, tag which we mention as document, mention the collection name where we are using the db dot get collection command again. And let's say the collection name is Java programs. And then I am mentioning a new document name which is document doc is equals to new document. And let's say our document name is hello world here. So I'm basically just uh, retrieving all the values for that I'm using uh, the system dot outprintl ln and i want to uh, the computer the system to mention this when it successfully gets executed right so i'm mentioning it as insertion is completed so let's just copy paste it and let's see the output how it goes so when you execute that you can clearly see that now in the list of all the databases we can see mongodb java also which we have created just now so let's just cross verify and go to our Mongo shell and see whether or not it is showing or not. So again, click show DBS. So you can see we have successfully created MongoDB Java. And if you try to use MongoDB Java, we have switched to MongoDB Java. And when you write show collections, it will basically show a collection name, which is Java program. Now, if you want to find the documents that are present in that, you just have to mention db.java program dot find. Okay, I just gave a space. So I have just changed the name. I, uh, we need we shouldn't give a space to our uh, collection name. So I just change the name again as Java program. Now, if you just uh, write the collection in order to find the documents that are present in that, which is Java dot program db.java which is the collection name db.java program.find you can clearly see that there is a document which is of name hello world that means you have successfully created your document in mongodb database by integrating with the java application so that is how you use java uh, with the help of mongodb in order to create files and store data in your mongodb database now i can understand uh, you know it is important that you need to have some sort of knowledge on java syntax and all the uh, you know syntax all the basic syntax we are using here so it it will take a lot it will take some time in order to get familiar with how to use mongodb with java this is just a basic interpretation of how you can use you know using the java application in order to integrate with mongodb database and store your information so we'll be covering uh, some more in the next tutorial wherein we'll cover how to uh, perform read and write operations how to update delete and even drop uh, the collections that we have created so for now let's just understand let's just we've uh, focused only on how to uh, connect the mongodb interface with the java and then we have created how to create a database and then how to create a simple collection and document and we have also inserted some uh, simple record into that and with that we have come to the end of today's session guys i hope you understood how to connect mongodb database with java application thank you for watching the video guys if you found this tutorial informative and helpful give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and colleagues if you have any further queries regarding any of the concepts covered in today's session feel free to let us know in the comment section below and a team of experts will be more than happy to resolve all your queries at the earliest also if you want the uh, copy of the syntax and commands we will leave them in the description below in a drive link so make sure you check that out if you want a reference while performing in your own system Stay tuned to the channel for more such amazing content and if you want to learn more about MongoDB, we have a dedicated playlist on our channel so make sure you check that out. We'll see you in the next video. Until next time, stay safe and keep coding.